All right, all right. Uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim. You know, that's pushing his word in the uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And uh, Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. You know, uh, Adawan Rathaza, you know, I mean, so willing, you know, so Lord in this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash, you know, it's going to be basically on seeking the Lord, man. All right. Our people, are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, we supposed to be Native Americans. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nation. That lineage go back to the twelve tribes according to their fathers. All right, because our people are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know. And our jobs as Israelites, all right, as as sons and daughters of the living power, all right, which the heavenly Father, His name is Yahweh, and His son's name is Yahweh. We gotta seek the Lord, man. All right, before the evil days come, as the scripture says. You know, I'm gonna just roll through the Spirit, Lord, what is edifying. All right, because this place, Babylon the Great, which is America, is going to be destroyed from off the face of the earth. All right, according to prophecy, according to the Bible, the Lord said he's going to hit this place with 200 million nuclear warheads and also laser fire from the chariots, all right, the so-called UFO, when our Lord Yahweh shall returns. All right, so we have to seek the Lord daily. This book, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1, it says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Nor the years draw nigh, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. All right. And the days, the evil days are coming. All right. And the diva days are here. All right. The scriptures talk about. Bear with me. This book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1, it says, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And when the last days now? The last days of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's rulership. All right, which this devil's going down fast, man. And now everybody who's joined hand in hand to this to this devil, they gonna follow right along with him, man. All right, the scripture say we in the we in the uh, perilous times. All right, these are the evil days. All right, the scripture say um, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter five. In verse 15, it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So we got to be wise looking around. All right. Redeeming the time. As verse 16 says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right. Because so these days about to get evil. All right. You got to be uh, sedition among men, invading one another. All right. Different riots, different uproars. All right. As it says in the book of Second Edges 15 chapter. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24. In verse 12, it says, Matthew 24 and 12, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right, so the, because sin upon sin is abounding, all right, going rampant everywhere, all right, the love of many is going to wax, is going to wax cold. Man. All right, people will start killing each other, man. All right, so we just got to seek the Lord before the evil days come not. Right, before what uh, the Lord brings all hell upon this place, because the Lord is going to use these Edomites, all right, to destroy a lot of our people. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10. Bear with me. Bear with me. I was Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 5 is so like it. It's back at, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 5. It says, O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger and the staff in, his, in their hand is my indignation. So the Lord, the, so the Lord is going to use all right, the modern day Assyrian, which is these Edomites, all right, to judge the majority of our people. Let's read in the NLT. It says, What awaits Assyria? 
the rod of my anger, I use it as a club to express my anger. All right, so the Lord's gonna what send this devil, verse six in the in the KJV. I will send him against a hypocritical nation. Who is that? Our people, and against the people of my wrath will I give him charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. So the Lord's gonna use this devil to try try down our people like the mire of the streets. All right, this is the book of Psalms. Chapter 17. Book of Psalms, chapter 17, and verse 13 says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So the Lord is using this devil as a sword. As it says in the book of um, Ezekiel. chapter 21 Ezekiel chapter 21 and verse 8 it says again the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man prophesy and say thus saith the Lord say a sword a sword is sharpened and it's also furbished and that modern that, that sword is these Edomites man and ultimately the sword is those missiles but he's going to use the, before those missiles come it's going to be martial law it's going to be Jacob's trouble the hour of temptation it's going to be like a time never before as the scripture says so the sword is sharpened Verse 10, it says, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished th that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? All right. Should we then make mirth? All right. Should we then, you know, just go out the ways of Babylon and be carefree and not uh, hearken unto the words of Yahweh Shema Shah? No. All right. Because that day, that evil day going to catch you unaware. It says, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished. That it may glitter, shall we then make mirth? It contendeth, it contendeth the rod of my son as every tree. Verse eleven. And he, and he have given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. All right, in the hand of the slayers, these Edomites. All right, it says, cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. So this judgment is coming to you Israelites. That's why the Lord said, that's why the scripture says, Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. It says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So you got to seek the Lord, man. That your sins may be forgiven. Verse 7. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and, um, and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon all right so if you want your sins to be forgiven and you want to be saved out of this jacob trouble you got to seek the lord this is the book of jeremiah chapter 30 which apostle tahar you know through the spirit and power how about you my shy deem this year the year uh the hopeful year of jacob trouble all right 2024 the hopeful year of jacob trouble all right which Jacob's trouble consists on a lot of our people being destroyed, but the elect being saved out of it, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 4 says, And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah, talking about the 12 tribes. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. All right, because that's what's coming. All right, let me get this real quick. Ezekiel chapter 7. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. It says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, but there shall be none. All right? So trouble is coming. They ain't going to seek peace. And let me get this precept real quick. Ezekiel 7 and 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord, power unto the land of Israel. And when our people is a people, Israel is a people before is a place. And the end, and end is come upon the four corners of the land now is the end come upon thee i will send my anger upon thee and i will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense unto thee all thine abominations so you reap what you sow if you're not seeking the lord your sin the lord say your your um 
your sins shall be uh, your accusers in that day. Second Ezra 16. All right. Verse four. And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee. And thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know it. Know that I am the Lord. So the Lord going to judge you for what you did. Verse 5. So like in verse 5, it says, Thus saith the Lord, power and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. So the scripture says, so we got to seek the Lord before the evil day is come. Verse 5 again, Ezekiel 75 says, Thus saith the Lord, power and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. And end is come, the end is the end has come it watches for thee behold it is come so we are at the end of this man's society and what's going to bring about before our lord returns evil all right so let's go back to jeremiah 30. jeremiah chapter 30 verse 5 it says for thus saith the lord we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace all right we just read they're going to try to seek peace but they ain't going to be none destruction is coming Verse 6, actually now we see whether a man does travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into perilous. So a man going to be like a woman having birth pain, screaming and hollering, man. Verse 7, at last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Those who seek the Lord, the elect. The Lord is only dealing with the elect. All right, so let's go back to this Ecclesiastes. We're going to read the rest of this and close out Lord when it's edifying she was said seek me O house of Israel that you may live in the book of Amos man Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 says remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not so we read about what's going on happening in the evil day all right the Lord's going to judge every man according as his works all right but he's going to save the elect up out of it but a lot of people going to get put to death all right, it says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. All right, because why? This wisdom, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, what represents all right, the, uh, the moon and the light. All right, soon what? It's going to be a what? A famine of the word. All right. So you're not going to be able to see the prophets out on the streets prophesying. You're not going to see the videos. All right. So you got to see the Lord now. Verse three. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the ground is cease because they are few. Yeah, there's going to be no jobs out here. All right. They're going to switch the whole economy. All right. Everything is going to go digital. And also they're going to push that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. It says, and those that look out the window be windows be darkened yeah because your future is dim all right there, there's no future in this place it says verse four and the doors be shut in the streets when the sounds of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low and we're the time that right now the daughters of music brought low this music is is demonic trash all right so this is what the lord's about to destroy this place man so we got to seek the lord Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1 it says gather yourselves together yea gather together O nation not desired but we ultimately know who's going to ultimately gather back to the Lord the elect of Israel it's verse 2 it says before the decree bring forth before the day pass as a chaff before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you because why it's going to be an evil day so we got to seek the Lord before what that that terrible judgment come down that fire Verse 3 it says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be that ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. That's the whole point. We want to be hid all right, in the day of the Lord's anger. That's why we got to seek the Lord now. So, what the scripture says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. We want to be safe and hid from these said judgments. All right. You know, so low in this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I'm going to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwa. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it going, Shalom.